Welcome to Vodzilla Vision. I am your host, Jeez Louise. And I'm Miss Trixie Sparks. And joining us today is the lovely Miss Jackie Brown. Hey. Oh, oh hey. hey ladies. What you doing down there? <laughs> For this month's Hot Topic, we'll be talking about burlesque as a body positive art form and also our negative and positive experiences with that as well. Do you ladies have any experiences you'd like to share? Oh, certainly. I think personally, um, this is an issue for both women and men, we tend to hold ourselves to an impossible standard of, in, when it comes to regards to body image. And I have to say, you, being a burlesque performer really broke down those barriers for me and I'm able now to celebrate my body, celebrate my sexuality, celebrate my personality and who I am, um, both as a performer and in my real life as well. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jackie? I've watched a lot of burlesque performances and talked to a lot of audience members, my friends and other performers, and I have to say that most audience members, I think, come away from a burlesque show with a really positive feeling like about themselves and about, I don't know, the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, certainly. And it really teaches you how to embrace your intelligence, um, your, your, your body for what it is, and then both your flaws and your, your positive attributes as well. And I know for a lot of audience members, the reason why they start going to burlesque shows and keep going to burlesque shows is because they can see a wide variety. They're looking for something different. Mm -hmm. And every burlesque show, you can see smaller women like my size. You can see shapely ladies. So there's definitely a wide variety in the burlesque scene. A lot of the positive comments that I've heard from audience members have been, oh my god, this woman has cellulite. Women have fat. Women have, you, you know, her boobs weren't perfectly, perfectly perky, you know? Like, yeah. not, not like Titty Perkins, they're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what, we're, we're, not, we're, we're flawed, we're what, humans? You know, we have those little inconsistencies with our bodies, but that doesn't mean that we're still a beautiful person altogether with all those little flaws included. Right, this is what people look like. Mm -hmm. It's not means, airbrushed, it's no, not... We're real, we're... Made not over. all of us uh, can be model perfect, but we all have bodies and they're all beautiful in their own right. And Definitely. And I know, I feel like in a lot of everyday life, um, women especially want to cover up their flaws. They're like, oh, my butt's so <laughs> wide. But I feel like if you're in burlesque and you got some booty, you need to sh yeah. show it. Use like, it. Yeah. Because we yeah, love to see yeah, it. We it. love yeah, to see it. And the audience does walk away with a sense of, oh, my gosh, if, if he or she can do that, man, I can, I can go about my day a little bit better, too, and feel a little bit more positive about myself. Definitely. I've had some negative experiences as well. When getting into burlesque, I definitely was aware that the ideal of a burlesque dancer I felt was a shapely, curvy woman, bodacious, you know, hips. Which ironically chest, like is everything. different from the ideal of, I feel like, mainstream society. But, Certainly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. But so I felt really uncomfortable <laughs> because being a very tiny person. And especially I have heard, um, I was on stage once at a benefit and it was at a lesbian bar so most of the audience were women. And I actually heard someone say, oh, she's so skinny, she needs to eat a sandwich, she needs to get off the stage because it's not sexy. And I walked away from that feeling like, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> That's what? horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. And I've heard people say that burlesque is for real women. Well, you know what a real which, woman is? A real woman is this. A real yeah. woman is this. A real woman is this. We are all real women, and the men too. I mean, they have different shapes and sizes Ooh, out there. I love to see, meeting. like, you see somebody like Ray Gunn who has a very, like, you know, cut, mm -hmm. and then you see Saucy Jack, and he's <laughs> like, you, both he's of them are, awesome. like, hot men, and I, yeah. the audience responds yeah. to Definitely. both of them. Both it's of them. actually, I think it's about your personality. It's sure. about what you portray, what you give. What you project. Yeah. And burlesque definitely helps you project a better, healthier self confidence, self-esteem, self-image. Yeah, and a great example of that also would be Dirty Martini, oh who was voted the number one burlesque performer in the world. Yeah. And she's, she's curvy, 
Yes. She is definitely like she knows how to work her body. She and knows how to costume her body, and she knows. Her. Yeah, she's very in control of her movement. She's mm -hmm. entertaining. She's not apologetic for anything no, at all. Which is something no, that we all can take away from from talking about this is mm -hmm. to know, like, to know yourself, own yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't apologize for the way that you look or the way that you are, that's you. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, you can say you're welcome to the world. Mm -hmm. This is me. <laughs> and actually at Exit at one of the shows, this is the first time that ever happened, a mm -hmm. girl came up to me afterwards and she was like, you know, I was just really excited to see someone who was close to my body type mm -hmm. up there because she had wanted to get into burlesque, oh. but she felt very self or self you know, she wasn't sure. She was yeah. Yeah. Indeed. If she because she saw all these women who were, you mm -hmm. know, curvy. So that was definitely like, oh my god, it's <laughs> awesome. No one I had never imagined that someone would say that. Great. Yeah. But I always love to see everybody. Oh, just yeah. to see the the variety and Yeah. If you're entertaining and you're confident, then do then what you do. do. That's exactly. pretty hot. Yeah. And that's so blessed. if you guys have any experiences, negative or positive, make sure you leave them below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. This month's Act of the Month goes to Vodzilla's very own Pochop, what y'all know about her. She did her Tyrone act at last month's Lincoln Fair at Lincoln Tap Room. What did, what did you think about this act? Okay, ladies, one thing I absolutely loved about this act is she really stripped down everything to the basic elements of burlesque. There were no feathers. There were no glitzy, glammy sequins. This act wasn't pretty. It was dirty. It was raw, but she yeah. made it beautiful through her great storytelling and her wonderful stage presence. One of the things that I really love about this act is she gives us the reason why she's actually stripping. Mm -hmm. It took me, I've seen this act several times and I never realized why she was wearing what she's wearing and it's, she's taking off her, her boyfriend's clothes and telling him to get out of her place, gets to step in, <laughs> and the way she does it is, it's really, it just makes you think. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. remarkable. And something that I find difficult to do, especially in a bar setting, is when you're using a song with lyrics, are you staying true to those lyrics? Mm -hmm. Is it your own interpre interpretation? Um, but this act, you don't have to know every single word of the song to know what's going on. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can follow the whole storyline and it's something that I feel like the audience could really relate to, mm -hmm. ladies in the audience, get your stuff and get out, you know? Uh, speaking of audience, she did a great job of breaking that fourth wall and engaging the audience by getting right in their face and saying, hey, look at me, I'm telling a story. True, I love that she challenges the audience members. You know, oftentimes you're just sitting in the comfort of your own chair, you have your space and you're watching the performance in the performer space mm -hmm. and she brings herself and the story into your space and demands your attention, and it's really, I think, emotionally provocative. Oh, certainly. And coming from a dance perspective, I felt like her movements, it was very um, modern dance, very contemporary, but the way that she uses the flow and the staccato movements was very, reminded me of a conversation. Her dancing was a conversation. Like, you could see in her movements those points of the argument that she was making within the and, act. And that is certainly amplified in her facial features. She really can tell a story through her eyes. It's pretty impressive. She never has to open her mouth. No. You just... You know you what know. she's thinking. You know. You know. <laughs> True. <laughs> Even vegetarians want to take a bite out of poke chop. Ah, you, you know they do. They, they just want to... Juicy. Some gravy. Juicy poke chop. Smother it. <laughs>